So an all on four is a technique that was created uh, for patients with terminal dentition or patients with no teeth at all that needed to regain their dentition. You need teeth again? Okay. So we're going to anchor a full set of teeth to four dental implants. You know, we have 16 teeth. You're not going to get 16 implants for each tooth. Through research, we figured out that only four implants was sufficient to restore a full set of teeth. You never really look at a person with a, a label that says all on four. Even though people sometimes, you know, come in with the idea that they, you know, gotta remove their teeth and place implants. Even though we are a full arch clinic, our goal is to keep the teeth in the mouth as long as possible. What we regularly do, it's uh, on a surgical procedure. We open a flap on the gum and place for implants. These implants have to be placed in a specific configuration. That means that all the implants cannot be on the front and not in the back, or all in the back if not in the front. They have to be spread, so when you do the prosthetic stage or the restorative stage, you can spread the load of the bite in the correct way. It's tricky, I mean, you have to, to be uh, very aware of where you are going to put the implants, the bone quality, and how forces apply to it. So you have to know very well where you are going and you have to know where everything goes because uh, all that anatomical structures that are not, you are going to reproduce it and you have to know what you are doing to, to do it well. If the person doesn't have enough bone, we have many options to replace or to put it on implant. Sometimes the first thing we need to do is a bone graft, growing back again the bone. We have the sinus lift, which is a procedure to push up the membrane of the sinus and fill it with bone. After that, we need to wait five to six months and then put the implant in place. A CT scan is very important for the planning of dental implants because I can see the thickness of the bone, I can design an uh, implant virtually, and I can design also a template for the implant placement properly. That gives me the location of, of the bone and everything in, in the computer. So I can plan exactly where I want the implants to be in place, and this guide is going to give you the depth and the position of the implant. For a good implant placement on a full arch or an all-on-four type of treatment, we need the implant to be well anchored and torqued into the bone. The implants that we're using nowadays are just designed in a way that they enter your bone and they grab more torque. They're just tighter. And that's what implants need for good integration. Every patient is different, but the healing time is between four and six months. On the second trip, you're gonna come in, we're going to uncover the implants, and we're gonna design the final prosthesis. There's many types of materials on the market. Acrylic, PMMA, zirconia, and nanoceramic. In this clinic, we can use all of these materials. I think every material can be used as a permanent material. Um, it is more according to the patient's needs and according to the patient's mouth. Yes, you can use acrylic as a final prosthesis. It's old technology, but it's proof that it works because it has been used for many, many years. Next one is zirconium. It's a really, really strong material where you can achieve an aesthetic outcome, but it's a very heavy material and very strong. So if you are planning to use the zirconium as the permanent option, the only recommendation is to plan on place more number of implants. In that situation where we use a zirconia denture, we need to use six implants or more to support all that heavy structure. If we use a lighter material like acrylic or nanoceramic, we can use less implants, four implants, because it's less weight. Nanoceramic is the newest material in the market because it's light, flexible, and easy to design. And there's always new materials coming out in the market as science just advances and modern dentistry keeps evolving. 
So a lot of times patients start the treatments going with the most simple option. You know, let's go with an acrylic. As time goes by, they're like, you know what, I'm ready. I want something that's a little better, maybe more aesthetic. Let's upgrade it to a zirconia or nano ceramic. And guess what? We can do it. You need teeth. You need to stabilize your bike. You need to look good. And not every patient can afford the best material out there, you know? Um, but we can start the process. Sometimes you have to act now, you know, you can't wait and wait for things to get more complicated. Something important about all on four or getting a prosthetic is is quite like seeing one of those Olympic runners that have a fake prosthetic leg. Can they run a marathon? Yes, they can. Can they participate in the Olympics? Yes, they can. Are you gonna be able to function normal in life again? Yes, you can, but it's never gonna stop being a prosthetic and that's an important thing to know. Some people with the prosthesis things, they don't have to brush or they don't have to take care of them because it's a fake thing, but they have to clean like a normal teeth because they can get dirty too. Try not to bite really, really strong things. Maybe things like eyes. They need to visit at least once a year. The dentist unscrew, clean inside the prosthesis, clean around the implants and screw it again. It's all about mimicking. It is something that it looks beautiful, but you don't know why, because we copy the nature with the translucency and the shapes and the colors and everything. To have the opportunity to continue with a fixed prosthesis and to feel like, like you have your teeth again, it's very good. It is pretty shocking even to us, you know? Every time we look at a finished case, we are like, wow, Sometimes we're used to it because we were there in the process, but then we look at the initial picture, you know, and it's like, what? Look at, this is you. <laughs> having a patient being able to smile after a full arch treatment, having a patient being able to eat again, to live again, to go out and feel confident about themselves, just this gives you this like proud sensation, you know, like I got to play a role in that. Like how amazing is that, you know?